fuck! So Cam and I decided to take a climbing trip to California. We flew into San Jose, and the first stop was San Luis Obispo to meet up with our friends, Will and Lauren. Doma, you're live. Oh. Well, Seth has to reschedule. How do I work? Oh, great, that works. Yeah. What do you want to say to the people, we were Doma? We're probably going to make it anyway. Work? Fantastic. Thank you. Like that's a Doma. All, that's all that matters. Like grape leaves wrapped around rice. That's the most important thing up here on Bishop. Yeah. Action. Action time. Cam and I both went to college out in uh, San Luis Obispo, so it was a very special trip to be able to go back and see our old stomping grounds, but in particular, it was even more special in particular for me because this whole trip was a climbing trip, um, and so it felt really good to be able to go back to pretty much where I learned how to climb and climb some of the routes that um, you know I was climbing before I was really any good at climbing, not that I'm good now, but um, it was nice to get back on some of the old routes that I had worked on. And the first day there, there's, um, so the, the primary climbing spot in San Luis Obispo is uh, called Bishop Peak. Yeah, we're going up there today. And it was actually right behind my old college house. Um, so I used to be up there all the time. But uh, first day back, I had to get on this very classic route on Bishop Peak, um, and it's called Camel. It's a 510C. And I remember when I was climbing there, it took me about six months to project before I was finally able to lead it clean. And once I finally was able to lead it clean, it was just this huge rewarding moment for me in my small climbing career. Um, and so of course, the first day back, I had to get on it and try it again. I got the juice. Channel, chat on zone. Always glad I'm home. Copyright. I'm <laughs> glad I'm home. Rest in peace in my bag of bone. Rapper song. We're in California. Back at the old stomping ground. She's looking saucy. Can you see how this one goes? What an on site flash. <laughs> and, and unfortunately, it didn't go so well for me. Um, it's a very technical route. It's very, uh, I'll, I'll kind of break it down through the whole way. So you start off the route and it's very slabby um, all the way up into the first bolt. Yeah, fantastic. Small crimps, tiny footholds till you reach this jug ledge where you're finally able to get your first clip off. You get your first clip off and you have to do this really mm -hmm. weird um, kind of mantle move onto this ledge um, and I think I've never seen anyone do it the way I do it. I kind of do it in this weird pistol squat way. Hello darkness, my old friend. Oh, how you <laughs> it's just so fitting. But everyone else seems to go with long arms and reach around for the side pole um, and then awkwardly scoot their feet up and I do it this weird pistol squat way. But you get on top of the ledge and you're able to clip your second bolt. After you clip the second bolt, that's a very technical sequence. So you have your left hand on a thin crimp, um, right hand on a better crimp but still a crimp. Um, you scoot your feet up, and from that position, you have to push off your left hand crimp and jug up to this really tiny right hand crimp. And once you're in this position, you have to take a big, almost kind of dynamic move off of that right hand crimp and reach for an even uh, a slightly better but still pretty bad left hand crimp. Um, where you're able to just slightly get your fingertips behind the hold, but it, it's still not great, but it's better than the previous holds that you were on. Once you get there, for the most part, you're usually solid. However, I did fall right here, 
Um, so the next sequence is very tactical. It's got lots of hand matching. Um, what, you're trying to do this traverse, and so it's lots of hand matching oh. and foot switches in order to traverse over where you can finally pull yourself up onto some even smaller feet, where you, then you could finally clip your third bolt. Once you clip the third bolt, then you have okay. the main crux of the route, um, which is more crimps for hands and then the slab section of feet where you're working on these micro ledges, just scooting your feet up barely, pulling yourself on crimps. And then you're finally able to get a hand jam off and pull the crux. And from there, it's about um, 25 to 30 feet of run out. Um, however, it's super easy climbing after that. The route's a 510C, but then after that, um, most cruxy part of the route, I would say the route's probably like a 5.6. It's super easy and you can protect it with a 0.75 and, and a 1 inch probably, or maybe a 0.5 as well. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool route. And I unfortunately, when I was there, just wasn't able to send it. I kept falling in between the second and third bolt, which is probably the most run out gap between the bolts. And I just kept messing up the, the crimp sequence. And I think just at the time, I just hadn't been climbing a lot of stuff that had crimp. So it was hard to, for me to just have the finger strength to hold on. Uh, I did finally get up to the traverse. And then normally once you get to the traverse, it's you surpass it and you're able to get to the third bolt. Um, but like I said, it's a very technical hand matching sequence that I was, I went too fast pretty much and I messed up one of the hand matches and of course I fell. And then after that, I was just too tired to give it a go. Um, so Cam got on lead and he had never climbed the route before and of course finished it, which was definitely a hit to my ego a little bit, but good on him for finishing it because it's a very spicy classic route that I'm, I'm happy that he was able to get on it and try it and, and lead it on site too, which was really cool. Wow, wow, wow. She's a, she's a beauty. That was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah, it feels good to be here. All right. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. This concludes the second episode of Bandana Bros. If you guys did enjoy the content, please leave a like below and subscribe. But before we go, enjoy this whipper reel from the first day in San Luis Obispo. Nope, take. Ah. Fuck. Nope. Ah. Ah. Fuck. Fuck.